So we're not that far into summer yet, but already there's a lot of cause for concern. I mean, here in the Pacific Northwest, we just got over a record-breaking heat wave where power cables were melting and some roads were literally buckling under the heat. And I want to share this photograph taken from my mom's backyard. So as you can see, there's this tree and uh, the bushes. It looks like they were hit with a flamethrower. I mean, all of this is the aftermath of multiple days of triple digit heat in an area where this isn't very common. And let me remind you that it was less than a year ago when the Pacific Northwest also experienced insane wildfires where our air quality was literally hazardous as a result of said wildfires for multiple days. And I remember being indoors and, you know, not wanting to open the door at all. But still, regardless, if you stayed inside, you could smell the smoke through your home. So all of this in the Pacific Northwest is climate related, but that's just what's happening here. If you zoom out and see the broader impact of climate change abroad, the picture gets a lot more grim. Climate change is now cited as a likely cause for animals shrinking. Yes, you heard that correctly. I said shrinking, which is very likely going to push certain species towards extinction. Scientists in British Columbia attribute the death of approximately 1 billion tidal creatures to a climate-induced heat wave. Ocean acidification and marine heat waves are killing off coral reefs at alarming rates. And just last week, the Gulf of Mexico was on fire as a result of an underwater pipeline bursting. Climate change is destroying our planet. And yes, it is anthropogenic. It is being accelerated by human activity. And just a hundred global corporations account for the overwhelming majority of greenhouse gas emissions. And I really want to put this into perspective for people. This is our only home. Earth is the only habitable planet that human beings have access to. We're not going to be able to terraform Mars fast enough to save ourselves. We're not going to terraform Venus before we terraform Earth. We're not going to be able to find a different planet in some distant solar system. This is what we have. If we lose this planet, we lose everything. It's over for humanity and a lot of other species. So, the time to act is long overdue, but yet, as all of the evidence is right in front of us, as we see the impact of climate change in our own lives now, you have fossil fuel-funded ideologues on the right who are actually claiming, you know what, all of this that we're seeing, it's not that big of a deal. In fact, global warming is good, actually, because it saves lives. This is what Dennis Prager, right-wing propagandist, said with a straight face on his radio show. And um, let's take a look and see what he has to say, because he actually does maintain that climate change, global warming specifically, is good. Hey, Dennis. Great, great observations. Your question, are they serious um, about tiny houses or men in the women's room or degrowth or depopulation? I had a conversation with a guy this weekend, an atheist who believes the world is overpopulated, and I asked him that same question. Are you serious? Are you sincere? What is your level of commitment? Because if you're committed to degrowth and depopulation, you need to off yourself to show me that you're truly committed. And he laughed at me. They just want everyone else to live by these standards, and they themselves will fly in jet planes, live in large houses, and reproduce while their centralized command and control by intellectuals continues to be a failure. Well, that's Al Gore. You just described Al Gore with his... And, and all, a lot of these leading environmentalists flying in private jets using far more energy than anybody else. Now, I happen not to care. If there's one, one piece I'd like you to read from the year 2021, it's Bjorn Lomborg's piece that just came out in, in the L.A. Times, amazingly. No, no, USA Today, amazingly. And how so many fewer people are dying because of climate than ever before. Because the, the great killer is cold, not heat. So global warming has actually been saving lives. But the left doesn't care about saving lives. They care about disrupting civilization. Because of the deep boredom in their soul. That comes from the religionless lives that they were raised with. That's what it is. Give me purpose. I was raised with none.
I'm sorry, but who listens to this? Dennis Prager nearly put himself to sleep with this dry, partisan drivel. And he's saying things just nonchalantly that are deeply, deeply destructive. He's getting his viewers to think, oh, well, this global warming thing I keep hearing about, actually, it's good. So understand how conservatives keep moving the goalposts. At first, they say climate change isn't real. Then they say it's real, but, you know, it's uh, it's not man-made. Then they say, yeah, it's real and it's probably man-made, but you know what? It's good. There's a reason why they keep moving the goalpost. It's because they're wrong. And what we saw there was not an argument. All Republicans do is they try to whataboutism everything, right? Or they try to hypocrisy burn uh, people who are actually concerned with climate change or real issues. I mean, listen to what the caller said. He said he talked to an atheist who was concerned with overpopulation and he said that the atheist wasn't actually serious about overpopulation because he hadn't killed himself. Is this someone who we're supposed to take seriously? Dennis Prager didn't point out how idiotic that was. No, because Dennis Prager thinks that that's actually a really persuasive way to argue. What's this? You care about climate change? Oh, well, I see that you uh, drive a car. I see that you ride in airplanes. Gotcha. You participate in society. Therefore, you can't critique society. Again, it's not like individual decision making is what's going to change anything with regard to climate change when just a small handful of corporations are the ones who are driving this phenomenon but still the way that republicans think about this and and speak about this is incredibly incredibly dangerous and irresponsible and it's not because dennis prager actually believes that global warming is good because he would be a stupid person to believe that he is funded by the fossil fuel industry. Therefore, his views have been corrupted by the fossil fuel industry. If you accept millions of dollars from fossil fuel oligarchs and oil barons, then yeah, that might have a little bit of an influence on your opinions as it relates to climate change. And then he adds in, uh, the left doesn't care about saving lives. The person who thinks global warming is good says this. The left doesn't care about saving lives. They care about disrupting society because of the deep boredom in their soul. And notice the irony here. He talks about the boredom that the left feels as he's like almost asleep as he describes how global warming is good. What a fucking idiot. Uh, and he claims that the reason why we're bored and we have boredom in our souls is because we live religionless lives that we're uh, raised with. And to advocate for climate change and to want to basically disrupt society is our way of getting some sense of purpose. Okay, well, the same is true for you, except substitute disrupting society with getting money because you're literally parroting the talking points of people who fund your program. So does the money give you purpose? I mean, I don't know what it is. I don't need to actually address motives. To me, that's a non sequitur here. The issue is that global warming is not good, actually. Global warming is going to kill everyone. But old fucks like Dennis Prager, he's not going to be around to see the worst of what climate change has to offer. His grandchildren will, if he has any. All of the children who he's trying to indoctrinate now will. And they'll realize once it's probably too late that everything that he's saying is a lie. But this is deeply harmful. To say that this destructive thing that we're desperately fighting against to save the species and many species, not just humans, is good, is so beyond the pale that nobody should take this lunatic seriously. You can tell he doesn't even take himself seriously because he almost put himself to sleep there. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas.